Posting on the corner with yours truly incognito. And DJ Misty. Man, fresh from overseas. Nigeria to be exact. Come on, man. DeVito in the Ooh. studio. Yeah. What's up? How Stay you feeling? Arena. Ha. Birthday on the way. Oh, God. Big Scorpio. Big Scorpio mm. in the building. Okay, so can you tell us who is some of the end friends? Give us a little thing. <laughs> Cause I mean, we was giving tickets away. I said I'm the air friends. <laughs> it's me. DJ Miss is gonna be there. <laughs> um, no, apart from you know, um, I have some big artists from Nigeria coming as well. But I do have a couple of surprises from Atlanta. They don't want me to say who's coming, but oh. yeah, it's gonna be some some big for the city. Um, but from Nigeria, I have Odumodu Black. Um, from UK, I got Darko. Um, I got another big African artist called Casey. Because you know, this 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 is really me. Showing you guys my culture, apart from you know, bringing best of both worlds together, because I'm I'm American too, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. So, but I'm more bent on showing the African culture. Come on, but definitely gonna do something for the city, cause from Atlanta too. How excited are you about this show? Cause it's special. I know you like is this first day of school vibe. You bring yeah. it home to home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Even this is second year of me, of me doing it. Um, so it's just cause I always used to go to the the arena with my oldest brother, and I'm the last kid out of five, so. My oldest brother, it was just me and my oldest brother at home at the time. Everybody else was at school. So he'd take me to the, the, um, the Hawks games, you know what I'm saying? And just, I never knew I'd be selling out that place. Just mm. like the Hawks! <laughs> just like the Hawks! <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, coming, it's just a full circle moment for me because I was born here, but um, I went back home, came back. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I came back, you know, I came with the mindset of, you know, I came out trying to figure out what I wanted to do in my life. And at that moment, that's kind of where I found music. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know exactly which, kind, which type of music. I could do anything because I'm bilingual. I could sound, if I speak, you even know I'm American. Mm -hmm. If I want to. Mm -hmm. But I could have done any type of music. But then my heart was in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So I left school. I did two years of school in Alabama, college. And I told my dad, I'm like, bro, I'm trying to go back home, do this. Because like, I was, because I'm, it's, you know, the internet was getting more popping. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking, Nigerian artists getting popping, like, lit. Everywhere. With Kanye West, with I'm like, I'm, I'm fresh in I'm fresh in these people. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah, pop, 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 get in, man. I'm from the city too. Yeah, <laughs> come on. You know what I'm saying? They, they can't even communicate. Come on. <laughs> you me? So you know what I'm saying? It was really something I wanted to do. So I went back home and I just really studied the culture. Mm -hmm. I was around them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I sat back. I'm, I'm very observant. I sit back, relax, peep. You know what I'm saying? And I was a very good engineer because that's what I was actually in school for. So I was a very good, I could engineer, mix and master, all that type of stuff. So, and I adapt very good. So I adapted to the music real quick. Mm -hmm. And I just dropped and biggest. Come the on biggest, now. the largest. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> the largest. <laughs> so let's get into your new single. I would just tell you how much I love it. It just, it's just feel good music, mm -hmm. happy to be alive yeah. type of music. And that's, that's, that's what it means. Like yes. even, even the hook. I won't care. Yeah, just, just vibration. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So, like, Afrobeats music, is you rarely hear, like, negativity in music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, rap. Mm -hmm. But, like, with our music, it's always happiness, togetherness, unity, and stuff like that. You know, shout out to YG Marley. Yes. From Jamaica. Yes. I brought him to Africa for the first time. You know what, what I'm saying? Yeah, he came with his family. I like bringing people home so they can actually see mm -hmm. it's different, not what they tell you guys. Right. If you came to Nigeria, you wouldn't believe. I put you, I put you, I take you to a, a house right now, you'd be like, where am I? Right, where we at right you know, now? I'm saying, I'm saying, like every luxury car I buy, I ship it over there. Just to have that motivation. Yes. Mm -hmm. I got Escalades out here. Like, yeah. I don't yeah. drive no luxury cars here. Yeah, that's and beautiful. Like, everything I get, I send it back home because I'm like, these are the people that put money in my pocket. Come on, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like recording. It's like you record a song in Nigeria mm -hmm. and you win an award. Why would you keep that award in your house in America? You gotta take it back home. So that's how I just look at it, and and it's also jewels because we showing people, upcoming artists, we showing regular people in Nigeria like, yo, this boy made it. Yeah. Now he bringing the jewels back for us to see. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. man, take me there because we in Atlanta together right now. <laughs> so right. what I'm saying is, if we was a day, like I want a daydream. If I'm in Nigeria, I'm mm -hmm. with you that past weekend. What we kicking? What's the vibe? Like, what's going on? Bro? Right. What time right. we getting in the All house? Right. Yo. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. So. I mean, wake up. No, we get in the house like 10 a.m. Okay, then. I'm with that. Child. I'm with 10 that. 10 a.m., man. Um, but yeah, a, a regular day with me. Let's just, let's just say it's Friday or Saturday. Let me say Saturday. I wake y'all. I send the cars to pick y'all up, wherever y'all staying at. Okay, then. We bring you to the palace. You know okay. what I'm saying? Wow, now. Okay. So we call it. We're going to the palace to have breakfast. I mean, not like this. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. You know I what? I did it 
Crash church. Y'all see where I'm at? <laughs> okay. So we had breakfast, you know what I'm saying? What time? Around? Breakfast around like 10 mm-hmm. or 12 o'clock, bro. We in the beach. Get on the boat. You know what I'm saying? Probably call some... You know some... You know what I'm saying? Some vibes. Yeah. Some vibes. Get some vibes. And then, you know, get on the boat. We go to... So we go... There's different islands we could go to. Get on the boat. We do that. Probably like 100 bottles on that. Yeah. Do that from like 12 to 3. Yeah. 4 o'clock. Get back on the boat. Back in the city. Come on, itinerary. From the city. Yo. Probably gonna hit up. Where we hit up, man? When we get back in the city, man. Go eat. Go eat first. Yeah. Okay. Probably go eat like Cali's. One like now Lagos got the best restaurant. Yeah. I'm telling you. Mm, mm. Amazing Chef restaurant. <laughs> Please. Probably go eat. But at this time, y'all already drunk, tired, but I'm there to hype you up. Like, you better not go to bed. <laughs> okay, bet. So we can't go to sleep. I can't even sneak yeah, it out. Yeah, no sleep. <laughs> no sleep. So from there, you know, and then, you know what I'm saying? You know, she's a lady. She's going to have to take time to get ready for yeah. the night. Y'all get festivities. ready. Yeah. And we're going to drop off at a hotel and I'm going to kidnap you. Okay. And we're going to go to the hood. Yeah! Let's yeah, do it. We're going to go to the hood. Yeah, I'm, I'm in there. I'm with you. And I'm, I'm going to show you Tigers, Lions, and Bears. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> and then, and it, this time, yo, yo, done. But then it's just so exciting. You mm-hmm. think you have energy, but you don't. You yeah. Know? So and then we probably go to night dinner. So many places to go. Zaza. Where else? This place called Boho. Then we do that from dinner. Go back from eight o'clock to like twelve, and from twelve we go to a lounge. Probably hit up what lounge first? Probably hit up. Probably hit up Vanity first. From Vanity we go Chandelier. Mm. We get we get home and like. That's after like the club, eleven a.m. After the club, what? we hit the, my studio. Yeah. And you turn it up. You turn it up. Plenty of doing. No, I have the barbecue music. out. Yeah. At any time, like, yeah. I have my barbecue out, eating every time. Yeah. And this whole time, it's like 2,000 people outside my house going crazy. Man, the artist story. What time. a life. That thing, that thing sound better than the Listen, boom. What a life. By the, time, by the time y'all hit, hit the sheets by 8, 9 o'clock in the morning, yeah. the next day you're like, yo, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Happens every and time, And I know man. your ass like, run it again. Yeah. <laughs> So with you being an international artist and you have collabed with so many people, how what's your creative process like knowing that you gotta tap into kind of like another genre for real? Um to me music is like universal to me. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like it depends. Okay, let me see. These days, they want to tap into all genres. For sure. So it's easier for us. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, back in the day we had to like adapt to like sound, make everything sound like let's meet in the middle. Mm-hmm. Nah. You gotta come over now, here. Now, like, <laughs> I have a record coming out this weekend. I don't know. With Nicki Minaj. Congrats. What? On her, her, her record mm-hmm. featuring me. Mm-hmm. It's That's fire. It's fully, it's fully Afrobeat. Mm. Like, she didn't even go in the middle. She wanted the full, she wanted the full thing. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So, these days, they wanna come to our world. So it's easier for me to work with, you know what I'm saying? Same way with when I did Sensational with CB. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to make it American. CB's like, no, talk your language. CB talk down your love language. that Afro beat. Yeah. Talk down your language. I said, you sure? I said, you're bad. Chill away. I jump from NYC. Hey. the best stuff. Ah, period. And then the, if you look at the, cho- the choreography of Sensational, it's actually my dancers that I'll be on tour with. Mm. Oh, that's there. fire. So Chris, they went on tour with Chris. Yeah. yeah. Chris right. tour. They on tour with Chris. They best friends with Chris. I'm like, can you call me? Right. <laughs> Tell Chris to call me. Hey, I'm alive. <laughs> but like, nah, Chris, if any artist has, I'm talking about show the culture love, no vo- Chris be at my, the shoot before me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Dancing. They be practicing. I'm like, I ain't dancing. I ain't, I ain't got no moves. <laughs> you do all the moves. I'll be there. I'll, I'll do my thing. I'll go. But he be like, now we, because we got like two shows in December. We got Brazil mm-hmm. and then we got South Africa. He already calling me like, yo, we got to rehearse. You got, so like he don't play about the craft and he loves the African culture. And think about it. He's one of the artists that we know he not just taking from us. Mm-hmm. Like he's overproved. Like, Mm-hmm. Even sensational. The third guy on the song is not even a huge. He, he's huge in Africa. Like, he's got a big song, but like Chris could have been like, I'm you know, cool. It's just me and you. And he put little bro. Like, this is my little bro. He put little bro on the record. Yeah, come on. He huge. Oh. 
It's now Lil Bro got a Grammy nomination. No. Yeah! Yeah! The third guy on the song. That's uh-huh. love. Like, I've been singing 14 years. <laughs> <laughs> he get an L.U. Man, I looked at him, I said, <laughs> no. I've been doing this 14 years, man. You get one one year. <laughs> But it's life, man. And you want so he can run. Yeah, I want to run. Yeah, yeah. So uh, shout, out, shout out to Chris Brown. You know, Nikki too. Like Nikki, like we were on, on the phone like 30 minutes arranging a record this morning. Mm-hmm. And just for Nikki to give me 30 minutes of her time, that's that's big. What? <laughs> so that's just, that just shows you that you know everybody's taking the culture serious and mm-hmm. they're, they're seeing that. We're actually good at what we do, and the music is actually moving and flying everywhere. So, mm-hmm. for sure, dope, dope, dope. Yeah. So you had a, a couple of years, like a crazy past couple of years. So how are you doing mentally right now? Hmm. Where are you at mentally? How are you doing? I mean, apart from just being an example for a lot of people that have gone through what I've gone through mm-hmm. in different ways, not only loss, just life in general. Right. You know what I'm saying? And to see me. Like, after what happened to me, I came back fire, boy. Come mm-hmm. on. Like, came back three Grammy nominations. Come on. <sighs> platinum no selling games. album. Platinum selling singles that I never had before. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And just to lock in and focus. And most important thing, have good people around you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Have my family around me, my pops, my sisters. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? All come, They all come to my shows. They all support any event I'm doing. They fly in. You know what I'm saying? So just to have that support and the fans too. And the fans too. And music is just healing, man. Yes. Mm-hmm. Music is just healing. Especially when you sell a million records, man. <laughs> 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 I was about to ask, right? Because it's like I said with your new single, it just feels so light. I make feel good music. Like, yes. If, if I make music like it don't feel right, I'm just like, man. Sometimes I make something, it's a hit, but like I just don't, I'm not getting that feeling. Like, mm-hmm. You know that feeling when you're like, and you begin this feeling when you drunk mm-hmm. or when you lit. lit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's some music that you just be like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that type. That, that's that's the climax. I always want to give with my music. Like even when I perform it, I'm just like, your people taking their wigs off. Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like just feeling free. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Freedom music. Yeah. Freeway. Freeway. What is your favorite unreleased song in your phone right now? Trying to trap me. Ah! I'm, I'm talking about one of the ones you just of always it? slide into. When did you record it? You know, like one of the ones. That is, is it going to come out or what? What? Just your favorite unreleased, like one that got you in the okay. chokehold. It's one it was a song on my new album. It's coming out next year. Yeah. It's called Down. No, no, it's called Don't. Okay. Don't, don't. And that's your one you got on repeat. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be. It's a hit. Also, I'll like, I can't I'm wait for get, y'all to hear this. Yeah. I'm trying to get Drake on it, man. That'll be fire. So I want to time fire. travel, man. Take me to your very first show. What was that like? Wow. <laughs> My very first show was in this place. It's a, it was like a, um, it was like a, it's not a fashion show, but they used to do these, this event called Music Meets Runway. This is back in Africa. So mm-hmm. this is, they do, it's like a fashion show and a music show combined. Mm-hmm. Music Meets Runway. So, yeah. So that was my first show. Everybody was sitting down looking at me like, you know what I'm saying? But I was happy. I was like, I'm, Did y'all big one. <laughs> I'm like, I'm on stage. <laughs> like, I don't even care if y'all know the song or not. Yeah. <laughs> that was my first, 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 first ever show. It's on YouTube. Um, and then like two weeks later, I blew up. That's wow. fire. I'm crazy. So I know all them people, every time you pop out, I know the people that I was at. I, I was at his first, first show. show. <laughs> and I seen, when I seen him on that stage, I, I knew. knew. <laughs> I knew he was going to be the next big thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you have also grown into a businessman, philanthropist. So how do you balance your roles and running businesses and also being a, a artist, a, a huge artist? Mm-hmm. Man, it's hard because like just being on the road is like, you mean you get carried away sometimes? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like some shows will be making a million, five hundred thousand. You're not, not really thinking about business, like mm-hmm. business. As long as you just thinking, as long as I'm hot and they love me, mm-hmm. it's gonna keep going. But that's a lie. It's a lie. That's a lie, boy. It can stop. I've been I've been in this thirteen years. I've seen people come and go. Mm-hmm. I've seen the hottest come and go, mm-hmm. the biggest come and go. You know what I'm saying? So it's like other things I try to involve myself in, apart from having a music label. Like I said earlier, I'm getting into movies. I'm executive producing some movies as Period. well. Period. Um, we have uh my family business as well. Back we 
we supply 50% of the whole energy mm. in West Africa. You know wow. what I'm saying? We got that, we got that going on. Um, I got a charity that and I started three years ago. You know what I'm saying? Um, we give out millions every year. You know what I'm saying? On my birthday, give out millions. We, we normally give out the money um, to motherless babies' homes because mm-hmm. I lost my mom at a very young age. So we give, normally give out the, the money to motherless babies' homes, but this year we're giving out the babies to the money to um, both mother, motherless babies' homes and uh, like d- drug abuse mm-hmm. charity like that takes care of like people dealing from like drug abuse and stuff like that. So a lot of things. We into politics. My uncle's the governor back home. Okay. As well, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of stuff. Clothes. Um, I got my collection with Puma. Fire. You know, we sold out in three countries in like eight hours. It's a lot, man. But for now, it's just the music for real. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? But probably get into other stuff. If you had to write a book today, what would you title your book? I don't know. Probably be like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, like, in different ways. Like, damn, I made it. Damn, it was hard. Damn, mm-hmm. we got here. I don't know. I've, I've been, actually, um, somebody hit me up to one of these bestsellers in New York. Mm-hmm. People. They actually hit me up. They want to do a book. I'm like, I'm not <laughs> ready to wait. I ain't ready for that shit. That's, <laughs> that's for people that signing out. Right. Man. <laughs> I ain't ready. I'm not ready, I ain't ready for, that, for shit. that. But definitely, you know, the documentary, like I said, coming out as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, but yeah, a lot of stuff we planted though. Like when do you feel most alive, bro? On stage. Yeah. No better feeling. On stage. Like on stage, why everything is happening. Like people that live with me every day, when I'm on stage, they be looking at me like, he's not human. Who is this man, <laughs> right? People that see me every day. Yeah. So, cause, so, cause, and I, ask, I always ask them, like, nigga, why are you so starstruck when I'm on stage? You see me every day. Like, bro, cause you're a different person when you get up there. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like when I get on stage and just, just the different feeling, like, bro. That's crazy. fire. So when artists don't got names of the books, I be wanting to name y'all books. So I'm going to give you a name for your book. I'm going to go with the chosen one. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go with the chosen one, because like coming it. from where you come from. Or chosen. Or chosen. Coming yeah. from where you come from, man, you beat the odds in a lot of situations. Of course. And these past couple of years that you had that you were just talking about, you could have gave up. Mm-hmm. You could have went home. We, we could have never heard from you again. Wow. But you still, you stood on your square. You stood 10 toes. You still put producing ten music, putting it out there. Yeah. Come on now. So that book going to be chosen. Chosen. I like it. Period. If you could go <laughs> act in one of your favorite movies, which movie you acting in? Rush Hour. For sure. What? Who in here no Ricky Tan? Like, <laughs> me? No, not me. You. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> nah, bro, I love Chris Tucker. I'm a big fan of Chris Tucker. Uh, I met, I performed with Chris. So I, I got booked for this show like a couple years ago in Paris. No, in, in Cannes, France. Mm-hmm. It was this like jeweler. So it was this jeweler that was obsessed with my song and just booked me and he's very good friends with um, Chris Tucker. So Chris Tucker was at the the, sh- the whatever he had like a gala type mm-hmm. stuff and we had a great time and all that. It's crazy, but I was I'm a big fan of the Rush Hour series. Mm-hmm. I like Friday. Yeah, yeah. Like Friday, I like comedy. I don't like all these action action. I like comedies, menace to society. Oh, sit there and they yeah. laugh, yeah. like <laughs> uh, stuff like that. So, I, but I would love to be in Rush Hour. That's fire. So, with you being years in this industry, if you could change something, what would you change? Hmm. I don't know. Like if you had the power to change one thing about this industry, like you'd be one like, thing about industry, me or the industry, the industry. If you could change one thing about it, what would you change? I don't know. I'm trying to think. What would I change? It, it probably definitely have to do with like the establishment, I guess, mm-hmm. like the label. Something. Things yeah. like that, yeah. But like with me, I'm cool. They know me, like they, yeah. play, they give oh, yeah. me my control. Okay, <laughs> you got a boss. Yeah, they give me my creative control, man. They know not to play with me. I would have to sit at home two years. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but um, just, just like what I said, just mm-hmm. give us African artists, just just in general, just give artists more creative control. Cause I feel like with the labels, they've been doing this for so long that they think they know what they're doing. But sometimes it's new, and a, a new idea. I'm I'm. I'll be learning from 
even new artists that come out. Mm-hmm. Artists that I've made way more money than. I've done way more things than, but you never stop learning. Mm-hmm. Age, it's a lot of things I learned from. Like, I had my little cousin TikTok teaching me. Oh, do this. Uh, I did it. And then my, You got the challenge my, going. Look, the challenge going yeah. up. A kid is like 12 years old teaching me something that the label should tell me. Right. A, a, a 12-year-old kid. Yeah. Because I, 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 I was posting in one way. And I just noticed, like, why am I, why am I it's not going up? Again? That much views. Like, because I got 40 million followers. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's like, no, no, uncle, you have to do it this way. As soon as he fixed my, boom. I'm like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> come work for me. Man. <laughs> <laughs> but I just feel like you just never stop learning. And even with my labor, I keep telling them, like, I be telling them, like, yo, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Mm-hmm. Um, but apart from that, I feel like the industry is just always going to be the creative industry. It's been like that for 100 years. Mm-hmm. It's not only the music industry. Every other industry is that same way if you mm-hmm. don't kind of find your niche there and be comfortable in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me into the mind of DeVito, man. Here's some rapid fire questions. Are you a FaceTime or a text message type of person? Text message. I just spoke about that. I don't do, I don't like calls. Yeah. Period. Uh, pool side or beach side? Beach side. You want to be the driver or the passenger? Passenger. Road trip or plane? Plane. All right. If I don't know if you play games or not, but we're going to do a card game or a board game? Board game. Board game, for sure. And let's see. If you were uh, on, a, on a road trip outside of your music, what's one album you're taking with you? Road trip. 50 Cent. Get Rich Dice Ryan? No, Curtis. My oh, album. yeah. Mm. I was That's a big fun. 50 Cent fan. I had G's. G in this nigga, bro. I told him. Oh, that. yeah, I used to have me a G unit uh, winter jacket. Yeah. It was white and gold. I <laughs> told him, I was like, because I was with him, and he was, he was like, yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, big fan. I was like, I love you. He said, oh, thank you. I was like, you don't understand. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I, so I told him we were talking. I was like, I, sh- I was telling him, I told him about all the games, all his shoes, everything he ever put out. <laughs> I was a big G unit fan. That's fire. Crazy, big. And he brought me on stage at MSG. Oh, that's, that's hard. That's fire. Crazy. So I, I was trying to tell him, like, you don't understand what you just did. Right. He's like, yeah, it's cool. I was like, no. Right. <laughs> Listen Bruh, to me. I love you. Right. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. So what else are you working on right now that you can tell us about? You said movies. Uh, apart from the album. Yeah. The documentary, the movies. Um, more close. Definitely yes. want to get into fashion. Um, I was meant to be at Fashion Week this last time in Paris because a lot of ideas were working on, but I couldn't go. But this next year, we're going to go. You know, Fashion Week go crazy. Um, my, you know, had that joint album with Chris after. You know, Chris Can't Brown wait for that. Imagine if David O and Chris Brown tore. Tour. Y'all going t- to tear the world up. <laughs> not, not this the city, the world. <laughs> crazy. So, um, yeah, we're working on that too as well. And, yeah, just more music and more music. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely going to go on a nationwide tour next year. Mm-hmm. Um, we do about... 20, 30 dates, then go to Europe, do the same thing, go to Asia. I'm going to India. That's you know fire. what I'm saying? First time, I saw a big, some wedding, big wedding. So, you know, they pay crazy. You know, I'm about to say, you know, you know they got some money. I'm all that, everything. Yeah, right. Whatever they want me to do, bro. I'm there. I'm there. Not the party, what's hell? <laughs> if you could give your fans one message, what would you tell your fans right now? Um, I say it all the time, just thanks for the support, man. Like, mm-hmm. You know, it's crazy how... You know, people use their last dollar to support you sometimes. Because, you know what I'm saying? Especially these, the fans that have grown with me from 10 years ago to see where we are now, it's just, like, amazing to see. Um, and I just thank God, man. You know what I'm saying? Thank God for the opportunity to have strength to bounce back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To be happy again. Uh, family happy again. Um, yeah, I'm just happy. Beautiful life, beautiful wife. My twins, I got twins, man. Yay! Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. A boy and a girl, they out here, so. Oh, y'all just, got real lucky boy and yeah, a girl? Yeah, a boy and a girl. That's I like crazy. that. Oh, God. So, okay. yeah, the show this Thursday is going to be crazy. Um, Definitely, we're going to gonna be the best of both worlds. going to blend it in, going to come together, not only as Africans, but as the whole demographic, West Indians, Caucasians, Asians, everybody's going to be in that building that day. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. 2025, we coming. See y'all. There Period. he is. The Vito posted on the corner. Thank you. That was, That's fun. That was fun.